The EPA proposes to amend existing corporate average fuel economy and greenhouse gas emission standards, an encouraging move for the nation's ethanol producers. Joining us now is American Coalition for Ethanol CEO Brian Jennings. Thank you so much for joining us, Brian. Now, you set forth a recommendation to the EPA. Talk about some of the highlights of what you're asking. Thank you so much, Christina. The, the primary highlight that we included in our comments to EPA is that the most cost-effective way, both for the American consumer and for automakers, to achieve a high-octane fuel is to add more ethanol to that fuel. EPA, thankfully, has been looking at this issue for some time, and they simply wanted to know what the benefits of high ethanol, high octane blends are. And so we laid out the case for how a blend such as E25 or E30 in the future in, in vehicles that are going to be made in like the 2021 to 2026 model year time frame would really be able to take advantage of an E25 or an E30 blend if e EPA were to remove some regulatory barriers and, and allow those fuels to be used. Okay, talk about EPA's position on high octane fuel and the evolution of it. Where do you think they stand? Well, it's really been um, great to see EPA's evolution on this issue, Christina. Two or three years ago, when we would talk with EPA about high-octane fuels and, and E25 and E30 and future engines, they told us we'd have no interest in that topic. You know, we don't want to talk to you about it. Now, EPA is actually soliciting comment on the benefits of E30 uh, for, for consumers, for automakers, and the benefits are, are, are many. It's a, it would be a low-cost fuel compared to the premium-priced high-octane blends that are out there today. Um, it would save consumers um, between uh, $150 and $700 at the pump over the lifetime of a model year 2025 vehicle. And uh, automakers want high ethanol blends in this high octane fuel because it's a cost effective, fuel efficient way for them to get there as well. Absolutely. Well, you know, you definitely made a lot of momentum getting E15 year round. We know that you advocated for that and definitely made strides. And now you're going for E30. We can't wait to see what happens from here. American Coalition for Ethanol CEO Brian Jennings, thank you so much for spending some time with us today.